Hey there, Westerosi, and welcome back to Mike Meeple's Painting Poorly Miniature Painting Tutorials for A Song of Ice and Fire The Miniatures Game by Come On Games. Today, we're going to expand our existing Greyjoy forces, so we're painting up everyone's favorite kooky pirate, Euron Greyjoy. In the books, Euron is described as wearing all black, but to give the model some color, I'll be giving him a dark crimson cloak and incorporating some browns into his clothing and some orange for rust. I'll be starting off by Zenithal priming Euron, and if you'd like to see more specifics on this technique, make sure you check out my how-to video. Once that's all dry, it's time to start base coats. I'm going to start off by mixing two parts black-red by Vallejo and one part black by Vallejo, and using that to paint his cloak. Of course, if you'd simply like to paint it black or utilize a color similar to what we did on Victarion, please feel free to check out those tutorials. Next, I'll mix up two parts chocolate brown by Vallejo and one part black, and apply it to the tattered clothing around his waist and shoulders. After that, take some German Grey by Vallejo and paint the pants, boots, belts, sleeves, and gloves, along with the small scabbard and dagger behind his back. I also I also painted the two lines on his chest between the scale mail. For his face, to give him a slightly darker tone, I'll be using some Barbarian Flesh by the Army Painter. Once that's dry, take your German Grey and paint up Euron's hair, beard, and eye patch. Next, I'll use some Night Scales by the Army Painter to paint the handle and hilt of his sword, along with the handle and head of the axe. After that, I'm taking some plate mail metal and painting the blade of the sword, the belt buckle, and all the scale mail and the detailing on the head of the axe. Once that's all dry, it's time for shades. I'm starting off with Flesh Wash by the Army Painter and applying a thin layer to his face. Once that's done, I'll be applying some Nuln Oil by Citadel to everything else. And when that's all dry, it's time for highlights and finishing touches.
I'll be starting off by highlighting his face with some barbarian flesh, specifically targeting his forehead, cheekbones, and nose. Next, I'll use some basic skin tone by Vallejo to add a second level of highlight. And after that, grab your Black Red by Vallejo and highlight the cloak. You'll want to paint the folds and portions of the cloak that bulge outward or upward while leaving the recesses darkened. To add a second level of highlight, mix together equal parts Black Red and Red by Vallejo, and paint smaller portions of what you just highlighted. For a third level of highlight, just use Red by Vallejo to add a few small touches here and there on the cloak. Next, take your chocolate brown and highlight the tattered portions of his clothing. Before mixing together equal portions of Chocolate Brown and Flat Earth by Vallejo to add an additional highlight. After that, mix together equal parts German Grey and Neutral Grey by Vallejo and highlight the pants, boots, gloves, sleeves, and hair. Add a drop of Sky Gray by Vallejo to that mix for an additional highlight. Once that's all dry, we'll base him just like I've already showed you in my previous Greyjoy tutorials. We're also going to be using some Orange Brown by Vallejo and dabbing that on the armor to give the illusion of rust.
And once that's dry, we'll be using some bright orange by Vallejo to really make that rust pop. And for more in-depth details for the basing process, make sure you check out those videos. And that's it! I want to give a big shout out to all of my patrons whose generous support helped me make quality content like this. And if you're interested in becoming a patron yourself, information on how to do so can be found in the description for this video, along with links to all the supplies I used today and a link to my blog where you'll find more tutorials for games like A Song of Ice and Fire the Miniatures Game. And if you like this video and would like to see more, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, Westerosi.